Welcome back guys to Xenoblade Chronicles 2, where last episode we of course did the Tournament and New Game Plus Showcase and now continue on with version 1.4 having hit the shelves as it were, with two new blades to be earned. One for completing the game normally, can be got in a first playthrough so you don't need to go into New Game Plus. A reward with it, well a high drop rate from the gacha system, I managed to pull it with the first legendary blade. And one for the expansion pass, the first reward for signing up to the new story content to come in the future. So without further ado, let's find out that first blade, the gacha system blade. Let's roll the awakening. Telos. The soul, complete being, and embodiment of absolute order. And so with that summoning, another blade is back from series past from Xenosaga, just like Cosmos was. Telos! has been added to the party. So let's go over like the abilities and stats it has quickly. I've already equipped a Moon Matter chip on Telos, so you can chip it up no problem, unlike the Tawner Blaze in New Game Plus. Of course, this is a different story altogether. The critical rate comes up to 48% with the Ox Core boost critical hit rate by 20%. These are the ones I've currently just got on. Just for the hell of it is where free ox core slots means major custom ability yet again. So that's always very nice. A fair bit of defense as well for an attacking blade using a great axe. So if you've already skilled up the great axe, it is working perfectly. You don't have to do it unlike, the, again, the Torna blades who had to be completing new weapon types and skilled up. Even though it looks like she has a scythe, it is a great axe. So moving on from there, we have a strength mod of 15%. What else? Her special type, Echidna, delivers a slashing attack and follow up with a powerful kick. Magdalene, 16, deliver a whirling blow, followed by a wild volley of shots with that can cannon she had there. To Skyla, which is unleash a mid-air slash and then unload your firearm at the enemy again. And you, tener Teneritas, ooh, pronunciation, detonate a high energy explosive that damages all enemies in the vicinity. Her blade arts are arts plus and critical up, so very much along the line of the offensive kind of thing. And battle skills are Heaven's Tracker, increases damage a driver deals by percentage chance max 500% each time they fall. Does that mean blow down? Does that mean you'd be trying to jump off cliffs in mid battle or something like that? What does that exactly mean? Topples maybe even? Heartbreaker. In the meantime, increases damage out for each enemy incapacitated by 60% or percentage chance, maximum 300%. That'll probably go up to 100% for each enemy. So again, another ridiculous damage kind of blade if you've got a couple of enemies in there. And can manipulate you falling, I guess. Field skills comes with Dark Mastery, Salvaging Mastery, and Leaping. And of course the Ox scores that were in there already. So apart from that, let's take a look at her affinity chart. To find that her trust requirements aren't exactly that high. But the most important thing here is that we have a level 5 affinity for a blade quest. Go to Alephro Runes in Araya and complete the quest Lingering Resentment. Which means we're of course going to need to up that affinity chart. What else do we have here? Leaping. Fall from a high place. Unit in peds. 305. And jump. Previous instances count towards total. Did I jump 6,000 times? I do not know. We'll probably find out as we go along with this. That's a bit of a crazy one to reach, and hopefully Merc Quest can uh, shave some of that off, I wish. Salvaging will be fine. Finishing an enemy is more or less easy. It's just a lot of kill quests of random monsters, so of course you can fill this out using Ursula's quests. Not a problem at all, in the most part, except for maybe down here. Maybe down here might be the issue. To build her up to have crazy power, so... Her first special builds up to increase critical damage by 85%. Her second increases damage at higher enemy levels by 100%. That's currently. Oh, no, that's what it will be. So that's kind of nice. 
Her second power will have a major damage boost against super bosses. And has a 100% chance of dealing a guard and nulling attack for Tiskela. So, with that said, let's move on to something a little bit different. Because we're going to have to build up that to get the quest going. What else has come with the DLC? Well, we have ourselves in the expansion pass here. Yet another present. DLC Bladeless Distribution 1 is now active. The shiny new power. Tora got a letter. Go to Tora's house. Requires Poppy and Nia and Morag. Chapter 5. So we've received the contents. And so I guess the quest is just waiting for me right here, right now. Or it's going to start straight away. Dadapon, Tora is here. Dadapon said he got a letter for Tora. That's right. Very strange letter, meh. No name of sender. Shady, shady. Letter inside even more shady. Look. Hmm. Dear Tora. Handwriting so terrible that Tora lost interest in reading. Whoever wrote this <laughs> definitely few no upon the blue shot of Horde. But as though advise read on. Okay, Dadapon. Dear Tora. Gather following data of blades. And input into Poopy. Tora guess that mean Poppy. Then go to... Bulge Harbor. Tor, I think it's a Bulge Harbor anyway. In Mo Ardain. Well, that's definitely mysterious. Do you have any idea who it might be from, Tor? No sender? Perhaps a friend? Tor, I have no friends with such sloppy handwriting. But must be someone Tor know. They know all about Tor and Poopy. Poppy. Masterpon is interested in who it is. Of course Tor interested. Well then, why don't we just try doing what the letter says? Really? Is that okay? Of course, Tora. I'm sure gathering this blade data it mentions will be no trouble if we all pitch in. I wouldn't make any promises until we hear what the extent of our task is. <sighs> okay, Tora will enjoy more terrible handwriting to read details to friends. From plain ether cannon, using girl blade, data on beam barrage special. From plain knuckle claw, using boy blade, data on assault rush special. From plain twin rings, using doggy blade, data on jewel fang special. From playing Great Axe using Boy Blade, data on Axe Throw Special. From playing Shield Hammer using Girl Blade, data on Aerial Shield Special. From playing Bitball using Girl Blade, data on Flash Bomb Special. From playing Mega Lance using Giant Blade, data on Beam Halberd Special. From playing Chroma Katana using Boy Blade, data on Multi Raid Special. It says we need all those eight pieces of data. Phew, that's a tall order. But Rex Rex promised! Ah. Uh. No, it's fine, we'll do it. Piece of cake. Yay, Rex Rex is here among men men. Don't worry, Rex. The rest of us shall lend our assistance. Morag is also here among men men. With friends helping, tasks should be easy peasy lemon squeezy. Among whom? Uh, right then. Shall we get gathering? When we're done, we have to head to Bulge Harbor, right? That's what that is say. Task is many, so Tor divvy them up into small bunches. We do in order. Okay, Dadapon, we get going. Don't know what kind of strange nope I'm waiting end of quest, so must be careful. So our shiny new power is received. Now, does this mean we just have to have the blades, or we actually have to use each special on a common blade to be able to move this forward? All right, current objective: try using Beam Barrage special of Girl Type Eve Cannon using Common Blade Mare. So it really is the fact that I have to do absolutely everything. Don't bear in mind those new game quests there. So, small bunches. So, Beam Barrage special of Girl Type Eve Cannon using Common Blade. It's very important I use Common Blades. So, let's get out there and start to just do that. With the power of editing, as you say. And so now we make our way to Bulge Harbor, having done all the specials required. Though, there was a little bit of a difference between boy and giant, as I found out. Everything went swimmingly, just use the specials. Pretty easy to do, as long as you've kept yourself a collection of common blades. So now we go to a meetup, with the data in hand. What's going on, as we meet a mysterious Nopon? What kind of person would stand around waiting in a place like this? All of Banner's accomplices were rounded up, but this stinks of his handiwork. That letter was suspicious, all right. Poppy hate to say it, but this feels like trap. I've been waiting for this moment, Tora. Who that? Mehoo! Hop! back! Who are you? Why you send Tora a letter? Why you want play data? Tora, to Little Pond, you not recognize me? 
Isusu, Grampy Pot of Tora! Pull over, Wing. It got bells on. Meh meh! D -d -d Dora forgets voice and face of old Grampy Pon! You look similar, but then no way you the real deal. Grampy Pon was killed by Mui Mui! Meh meh meh! Tora not believe me. Sad day indeed. Feels like Susu might faint. Tora, are you sure this isn't your granddad? Grampy Pon is dead as Dornell. Besides, Grampy Pon better at writing than this imposter. That sad effect of injury from Mui Mui. Limbs no longer move with grace of younger years. Possibility level of story increased to unexpected levels. Tora still not believe. First Daddy Pon alive, now somehow Grampy Pon alive too? Life not that easy or convenient. Meh meh, there's nothing for it. This risky move, but Tora has forced my hand. There is proof that Susu who he say he is. What proof? Search in roots of Sophronia tree in Gwyneth Paddy's near Alain, capital of Onsamima. What you dig up there will prove that I'm telling the truth. It seems like the only way... Sh shall we head there, Tora? Master let's go. Fine. But if this proof no good for convince us, we not come back here. That okay. Take care, Tora. It's Grampy Pond's alive. Life not so convenient. Searching roots of Sophronia tree in Gwyneth Paddy's near Lurian capital Fonts of Mima. What you dig up there will prove that I'm telling the truth. But I'm not sure if Florin will like me just digging around within that tree, to be fair. Alright, let's see what fast travel points I have got in New Game Plus. I should have that one after all. Ah, the quick rush through to get all your blade stuff sorted. Oh, it's fun to meme I want to go to. Right at the front. That's the nearest place. Can't miss that travel point, can you? Hopefully Florin doesn't get mad at me. We'll, we'll leave Florin out of the party. We'll leave Florin out of the party. Meh. Meh. Long that might... journeys make Tora tired. Well, Tora, this is for your quest, sir. You could do a little bit more of, like, activity. With Telos now following us around, I really want to raise your affinity chart. But it makes sense to do the uh, affinity feeding that you normally do. When, of course, we've got this other new blade with us. If it even requires affinity feeding, we'll find out. Right, Sophronia Tree, let's find what we can find. Or do we have enough for the skill check that's about to go? Treasure acquired. Nature, Not a problem. Me your strength. Okay. Who cares? Well, Tor cares, Petroka. Tor cares great guns. Alright, so in the treasure mark. trove, we find the not safe for work folio. Yeah, that proves it. Tor, what is inside? So, Tor cannot show. It varies top secret information. If Rex Rex see, his head explode. What are you blabbing about? Just show us already. No, Tora cannot. This is special book of Grampy Pon. Grampy Pon, Dad Pon, and Tora used it as design bible for making of artificial blades. Poppy and Lila's designs, eh? If that book influenced your designs, I'm not sure I want to see what's inside. Yeah, let's not dwell on that. Anyway, this means that Nopon is really your Grampy. Your granddad. Meh meh! That's true! This book very precious to Grampy Pon. He spent many hours locked in room with it. Presence of book means that definitely Tora is Grampy Pon Susu. Granny Pon is alive! What a way to reveal you're still alive. Master Pon, let's go back to Bulge Harbor right away. Yes, Granny Pon is waiting. The Snow Pon family! And I'd got used to the relative normality of uh, No Pon since Xenoblade Chronicles 1 that we're playing through. Yikes. <laughs> well. Back to the crazies of the uh, Nopon world. Empire of Moradain, old factory, and we actually have the harbor point right there. So we can get back nice and fast. I thought this was over, the crazy Nopons. No, no, they're just dirty. Dirty. That was dirty. Slog. Let us go. Right then, Susu, we've got your proof. Tora, it looked like you found what I hoped. Now do you believe me? What's wrong, Tora? Did Tora forget bygone days when we worked together so passionately with Sunny Pon Tatazo? Tora not forget. You real Grampy Pon Susu. Meh meh. Tora! You real Biggie Pon now, Tora. Tolan Susu. Thanks to eat tasty sausage every day. Tasty sausage every day. Ugh. Anyway, that's enough reunioning. 
their special important tasks to do. Did Tor input blade data into Poppy like Susu writing letter? Yes, with help from friends, Tora collected all data. But why Grampy Pond needs such battle data? It for benefit friends of Tora. But how it helped Rex Rex? Poppy, please come with Susu. Master Pond, permission to go? It's okay. Poppy, follow Grampy Pond. Understood. If situation become uncomfortable, Poppy will activate Stranger Danger protocol immediately. Stranger Danger. Stranger Danger. Why assume such thing of Grampy Pond? Is Poppy really going to be okay? Tora have no idea what big idea is, but Tora trusts Grampy Pond. Hope there's not big mistake. Knowing what I do of your grandfather's proclivities, Tora, perhaps you're right to doubt. Oh god. Everyone, sorry to keep friends waiting. Poppy, what in all rest Grampy Pond Susu do? Some kind of new paint job? She's got antenna, I know. He make modifications? Negative. This puppy is Puppy Mark II. It's great honor to meet friends of Professor. Huh? He's made a second puppy? <laughs> that not quite right. Poppy Mark II operate under remote control of Poppy. Exactly. Poppy Mark II have no will of her own. Poppy do steering and play Poppy voice through clever speaker system. This function open world of possibility, like fresh new improv routine where Poppy play off of Poppy. Shall Poppy demonstrate? That sounds fascinating. But perhaps best left for another time. So Grampy Pond want Rex Rex and friends to also have Poppy they can use. And that way make Poppy Mark too. Wow, we'd be pretty unstoppable with another Poppy by our side. <laughs> friends still thinking small like tasty sausage for Little Pond. So soon not have time to dream small. What's he on about? Poppy? Please execute program. Poppy, hear and obey. Why is it shaped like a knob on? It is kind of cute, though. Thank you kindly for your compliment. You too are exceedingly cute. It talks. Susu equip it with specially crafted artificial intelligence program is made to support Poppy. Yes, I am indeed, if you pardon the self-aggrandizement, a superlative AI. Your awe is fully warranted. Whoa. Oh, this is only tippity tip of iceberg. Poppy? Hmm. On mark, ready, go! Poppy Buster, initiate transformation! Acknowledged, ma'am. Oh my! Mama! Poppy Buster, here we go!
friends of Miss Poppy. The Poppy Buster is standing by to excel, pending your orders. Whoa! That's so cool! <laughs> Not at all mad science eh? Nice intro, though. Weird rolling, though. And I want to see the comedy routine. Grammy Pond Susu. Tora not think Grammy Pond had it in him. This increased Tora's opinion of Grammy Pond by a factor of five. Meh ho Grammy Pond had many years to expand the scope of reading material. As I say before, no longer have time to waste on dreaming small. Tora underestimate Grammy Pond, but now Tora adjust estimation. Adjust upward. <laughs> right, so how would we make use of this Poppy Buster then? Thanks to the data you kindly gathered, I can operate to the greatest effect, irrespective of my driver's experience. In other words, Poppy Buster can become Blade of Rex or Blade of Nia, is no matter. Can Poppy Buster be Blade of Tora? Tora already have Poppy. Absolutely correct. Poppy always fight by Master Pond's side. Touching words move heart of Tora. As long as Tora have Poppy, Tora not need stupid Poppy Buster. Would you like me to crush him for you, ma'am? Ma ma! Tora misspoke. Poppy Buster is greatest of inventions. Please do not crush. Now is time. Poppy Buster seems to be brimming with heaven attitude. And you want to go for a test drive? Totally. Then for test purposes, go to Mordain and defeat Maxos Arachno. Good choice for first opponent. Poppy. You're not yet used to fighting while also controlling Poppy Mark II, so best to take things slow at first. Your fear is absurd and unwanted, considering I will be there to support Miss Poppy. Poppy feel more confident already. But personality matrix appears slightly outside initial parameters, but learn by doing seem like best approach. That sound good to Poppy. So how do I equip it? Oh, it's been equipped to Rex, like... Do, c c can, I, can it just be bound to everyone? Right, you can now engage the Poppy Buster as a blade. Currently, he's engaged on Rex. However, you can engage the Poppy Buster to any driver except Tora at any time without having to spend an overdrive protocol. Nice. To do so, simply select him on the right driver's engaged base screen. Feel free to use the new built power of the Poppy Buster in whatever way best suits your battle needs. Full with mechanized moving noises. Alright, let's check this out then. Well, that looks cool on the menu as well. With a little puppy to go with it. So it's a light blade on top of that. Can you change cores, etc.? Right, this is a affinity chart. So it's not built with a poppy system that's usually there. So it's the third light blade in the game when you think about it. So you can spread it out a little bit. What role is it? It's a tank. So probably best upon Morag, maybe? Considering. Physical defense of 40% and even defense of 35%. Do I I think I have a spare super chip around as well? The Dillaton chip will boost it up to 58% block rate with critical rate of 5%. And auto attack of 632. Of course, it needs to be built up a little bit more to have a little bit more strength to it. It is a hammer blade. Let's just equip that there. A satellite hammer. What else do we got? Uh, agility mod. So, yeah, that's quite good for agility-based hammer for Morag. Nice. Okay, specials are Buster Cyclone. Transform your weapon into knuckle claws and barrel into the enemy. I'll just exit that screen a second. Buster Cannon. Transform your weapon into a cannon and load it into the enemy. Buster Mirage. Unleash the combined power of Poppy Mark II and Poppy Buster on the enemy. And Buster Impact. Initiate Poppy Buster Self-Destruct mode, which sounds kind of counterintuitive. We got Blade Arts of Recharge, Boost, Draw, Aggro, nice, and Nullify Reaction. So, no tuples, etc., hopefully. Draw Aggro is always nice, and extra recharge, cool. Battle Skills, Hyper Affinity Circuit, deal 60% or percentage more damage, and take percentage less damage and max affinity. So, I wonder how much that grows up to. We'll check in a second. That's really nice when you think about it, because just taking a flat damage, no, taking off... Whatever's coming on is really nice. And just dealing more damage is nice as well. If that goes up to 100%, that could be really quite powerful for a tank. Reconstitute. Increases damage of level 4 specials by 250%. Each time it's used, maximum 1,000%. What? 
Fill skills are entomology, salvaging, mastery, and super strength. Yeah, it should have super strength being that big. And ox cores comes equipped with free to be able to do whenever you want. So, like, block rate, whatever. I mean, you could put ultimate shield on. Yeah, let's put ultimate shield on. And then uh, put on... I mean, technically, if you put a specials level 4 plus on that 100%, it would be crazy. Absolutely crazy. I mean, again, you could go physical defense, Eve defense, and get a bit more on that. I mean, even just blade combo boost damage up is really quite nice. Do I have any level 4 ones up? I haven't really specced in getting all that, but... That's crazy. Of course, you'd have to, like, charge up quite a bit to use multiple level 4s. But still. So, with those blades on, we got 48% physical defense. A block rate is 69% with block rate up. The armor defense is there as well. Oi, oi, oi. What a tank among tanks, you would say. So, affinity chart. Does he have a blade quest as well? Oh, only 5,000 to fill out the whole lot. So, that's nice. Right, so what do we got for the level 4? So, Buster Mirage does increase damage dealt to enemies targeting users by 100% there. Right, this does... So, Hyper Affinity Circuit goes up to 100% and 30% less damage. It's really nice. Watch Heart to Hearts. Previous instances count towards totals. Ah, oh, that sucks because, of course, I'm New Game Plus, so I haven't done a lot of the Heart to Hearts. Whereas I'd done them all before. 70 Heart to Hearts to watch. Well, I could build that up. Fairly fast while running across the world. So this one, it, high wire acceleration increases auto attack speed by 25% and art speed by 20% is really nice too. Overkill a monster in a chain attack is the goal for everything here. Hopefully that can be done by Merc Quest as well. Reconstitute increases damage level of spe level 4 special by 350% each time it's used. Maximum to 1000 after receiving a certain amount of damage. So you'd only have to use it... Well, you'd have to use it fourth time to get a thousand percent, but just after using it three times, you'd have nine hundred fifty. No, you wouldn't. Math, you'd have one thousand and fifty. So you'd have to use it three times to max it out at its maximum level. Nice. Right, complete stage four in Tiger Tiger. Stage five, defeat immovable Gonzalez. Just these are completely kill enemy quests. So apart from that, nothing seems too hard. The, the heart to hearts is a bit of a bummer if you're in New Game Plus and haven't actually gone about completing every bit of the content. Deal a certain amount of total damage, 5 million. Hopefully Merc Quest can help with some of this. But let's go out and do the demonstration that you wanted. Should I, um, disengage and then move him over to Morag? Come on, Morag, let's get... Poppy Buster there. Your expectations. As pilot, Poppy is one doing striving. As pilot, Poppy is one doing striving, you know. That's cool. <laughs> it's, it's a way of, like, having Poppy in your party while also having Poppy outside the party by the look of things. Which is crazy enough. Yeah, this is an interesting new blade, you'd have to say. Let's put Poppy in there. Uh, let's put Telos back on. Though, of course, she'd never be swapped to. Not being a level 1 affinity. You've got to build that up at some point in time. And then Poppy. Poopy. Let's go out there and find this monster, shall we? And so we come to test Poppy Buster versus this Arachno. Only a level 34, so it's going to go down very, very fast. In the meantime, between getting here and not, I actually boosted the affinity charts of both to Elos and Poppy Buster. And I also got it, the hardware acceleration perk. Increases all attack speed by 15% and art speed by 10% as well to start off that thing in the line. Of course... They didn't have one of these things activated for each one when I did the blade explanation kind of thing. So, of course, phase transition tech was on Telos as well, which annuls enemy defense and increases special damage dealt by 60% as an ability there. But we've unlocked, ready to go, her quest. So, with that said, let's continue on with Poppy Buster. And use we've it in battle for the first time. Well, we don't expect this guy to last that long, in a sense. That's for sure. Not against this party, anyway. 
As we get a level one special whirling dervish. Yes. Well, the quest continues. What's our next step, you say? Report back to Grand Ponsusu, who waits at Bulge Harbor at Old Factory Area of Moradane. Testing out a little bit of Poppy's power there. Of course, we didn't need to overkill it or anything like then, but it would help us for the chart in the future, that's for sure. We've arrived. A ridiculous tanking power. I can only imagine how Power Poppy would be fully powered up. And with those level 4 specials as well of crazy. Meh meh, you return. Indeed I do. Expression on faces tells Susu that test drive was success. Naturally it was. You can't possibly have expected me to fail, can you? With support from Poppy Buster, Poppy could give 110% energy output. That great to hear. Was anything needing tune up? Poppy and Poppy Mark II both operating with no glitches whatsoever. My performance was also flawless. Great news, great news. In that case, Susu, give Poppy Buster to friends as planned. I think I'm going to enjoy your company, friends and companions of Miss Poppy. Likewise. Meh <laughs> Then it's about time for Susu to go back into hiding. Gabipon not want to see Dadapon. That's his own now living perfectly content life without his Dadapon. Maybe best to leave that way. After all, great achievement of make Poppy and Lila also possible because Susu not in picture anymore. I believe it better for Tor and Tetsuzo to stand on own feet, keep inventing wondrous inventions. Tor, I have complicated feelings now. Gabipon, will we meet again? But of course! Dear friends of Tora, please take good care of Tor and Poppy and Poppy Mark 2 and Poppy Buster 2! You've got it. We're a caring bunch, really. Please take care of self, Professor. Thank you. Susu surely will. Until we meet again. And will we meet again is the question. Say, now that I think about it, what's that name mean? Poppy Buster. I totally forgot to ask. Yes, it has been bothering me too. Poppy Buster, do you know? Of course I know. Miss Poppy chose it for me. Poppy chose a name like that? Indeed. Poppy chose most proper sounding name from list of free provided by Professor Susu. What do you mean proper sounding? Three top ideas of Professor were... Number one, Poppy Obey Powered Panzer... Inferno, which is Poppy, and <laughs> yes, that's nice. Number two, Susu presents new Poppy XL Deluxe, and number three was Poppy Buster. That's one hell of a choice. Yes, naming sense of Gravity Pond always was notoriously bad. I can definitely see why you choose Poppy Buster over the other two. As added bit of trivia, name meant to suggest enough power to take down even Poppy. Poppy think that's slightly in bad taste, but then again, what do Poppy know? Coolness of name is paramount. Poppy got that right! Make choices correct. Tora very proud. To quote Great Nobon Scholar, meh ho ho. Well, I feel a lot better knowing where the name came from. Let's keep up the good work, Poppy Buster. Please do. I myself will undoubtedly excel enough to make you swoon, ma'am. I'm sure that together we'll make your Master Pond prouder still. Poppy, not think ego of Master Pond need any more stroking, to be fair. And so we have full reign, full power of the Poppy Buster. We even get a golden open mass to go with it if we want it. All that power is added to us, but now we go on and try to sort out another Blaze quest, of course. Let me just switch around my characters here. I'm going to have fun powering them up. Since the Torna Blaze episode, I pretty much have all affinity charts also filled up too. So they are... Super powerful and ready to go. However, these guys will take a little bit of a while to uh, sort out, so to say. So where am I going? Alephro ruins in Araya and complete the quest Lingering Resentment. Is there anything between Cosmos and Telos is what I'm really wondering. So let's get over and find out, shall we? Lingering Resentment sounds the interesting part of it all. Poppy Buster is now ours. And of course, that's referring to like the Hulk Buster armor of like Iron Man and stuff. Conveniently on a certain day of a release of a movie. Very much so. Roger Wilco. I guess the downside to Poppy Buster is that noise all the time. <laughs> smash, 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 smash. Well, I left for a playhouse. It's not actually out of the actual playhouse. It's over here. Smashy footprints much? Do you want them? Alright, the Indolene Warrior Monks. 
Let's see what Telos has going on. What's this? Interlined survivors, perhaps? They must have come here from the world tree. Looks like it. I'll see no reason to leave them alive. I'll erase them. What? Wait a sec. Let's watch them for a bit first, yeah? Who are you? The driver of the Aegis and the Flamebringer? Your pursuit of us is formidable in its relentlessness. Um, we weren't actually pursuing anyone. This is a total coincidence. You've interrupted our plan, kid. Maybe this is a prayer to give an opportunity. Let's rid ourselves of these brats. Praise be! Why'd you wish fight? <laughs> I could have saved us some time. Yeah, but still. Attention, maggots. Your pitiful lives end here. That's a nice way of putting it. As the quest's lingering resentment gets underway. Are we going straight into battle? No! Yes, we are. The upper hand. Come and get it. Well, let's not try to kill them all before we get to Telos. Obviously, I'm going to be able to take down a few of these before Telos gets in the battle. Stop killing them! Alright, Telos is in. Okay, I better use the special now or I'm not even going to get a hit. Shootable guns with our new blades. I imagine that put an end to their shenanigans in Fonsamima. Indeed it will. All the day's work it is indeed. Idiots. They mentioned a plan if you recall. Even now I imagine more survivors are gathering to enact vengeance on us. Hmm. You could be right. When a plant is rotten you need to drag it up by the roots. Look it's all very well suggested about more survivors but we don't know where they are. I'm sure these vermin will tell us with a little persuasion. This won't take long. She's a bit vicious, this one. Hey, hey, hold on! Very vicious indeed. Well, let's find out from the guys. Let's switch to Tilos in the front lines here. Uh, what's the plan you mentioned? Start talking or die. If you think I'll sing, you won't know me very well, lady. The location of your friends will suffice. Just tell me and this will all go away. Ah! Worthless. Well, you won't tell, will you? Ah! What's the plan you mentioned? Start talking or die. Do your worst, I'll never tell you. The location of your friends will suffice. Just tell me and this will all go away. Ah! Ah! Is that all you've got? I'm disappointed. You sick little rat. <laughs> I talk. I don't want anyone jabbing their stuff into me. No high heels, thank you. Well, warrior number two didn't talk. What about warrior number three? <laughs> What's the plan you mentioned? Stop talking or die. What will you... Oh, what will you do if I tell you? I'll eradicate every last one of you. <laughs> well, in that case... The survivors of Indal are gathering in more Ardain in the chance of waste. By our power combined, we will do prayer to Amalthus Proud. Preparations are almost complete. Find you lot was to be the final step. By all means, save us the trouble. That's enough from you. Ah! Did you kill him? By stomping his chest in. We must head for more Ardain. It seems we must. Sounds like we'll have to stop their plot the hard way, eh? Let's go. But, uh, try to restrain yourself a bit, yeah, T Tilos? Psh, as if. Cosmos on the side of light, Tilos on the side of dark. Is this meant to be a hint at me? Maybe one day they'll get round to, like, HD remastering the Zendazaga series or completing it in its proper sense. Come out, come out. Set off these sensors to max sensitive. Very well, then. To max sensitive. That's the correct way to say, isn't it? To max sensitive. To more ordain it is we go. But whereabouts is the question. Is it back in the factory again? Well, if we just land, we'll be able to find the quest marker from there. So that won't be too bad. Just caving people's chests in, having fun. Tell us. I really want to say to Elos every time. 
Half the place where the inline survivors are gathering forces in Mordedane's Chansar Waste. Chansar Waste is, of course, down nearish the old factory, but not quite the old factory. Let's hope I have a travel point there. I should have read the design there. Well, it looks like it's probably that. Not far away from the Hot Pipe District. We're here. Stop talking. We well, that's to... them right here, right now. You want to do battle again? Looks like the information you got out of that goon was run on the money. What's our move, chaps? Well, we've established that we're the targets. I say this is our problem to deal with. We shouldn't just rush in. Nonsense. They are enemies. Our directive is clear. Tell us? That girl. Looks like you're not finished yet. Did you really think you were going to be able to take down the Aegis and her companions? Who are you? We've been preempted. Not so. This just saves us the effort of chasing the Aegis down. These fools are nothing but moss eager for the flame. Soon enough, the other survivors of Indor will be arriving here. If we can hold out until then, the hour of our vengeance will soon be at hand. Heh. <laughs> Risible. I suppose all you worms think the same. You think your threats are anything more than the chitter of vermin? You're only one blade. Don't underestimate our power. Get her! Yeah, but we got the backup. We are the backup. Don't get in my way. I plan on enjoying this. And so battle begins. What level are these monsters then? Considering they were designed to take me out. I'm not down yet. Well, let's start taking things out with our great axe set up. Critical recharge will be quite nice if we can just get it to work. Why am I not attacking at all? Oh, why did you get me there? Oh, there we go. That's better. What am I actually attacking here? I'm not down yet. Why a second? It's targeted that guy. Of course it has. Right, I'll go over there. I wanted to get the nearest guys, and pressing R didn't seem to help that at all. Well, this seems like a good chance to use the level 4 special, doesn't it? Oh, I didn't even see the boot prop. What was going on there? How you like that? That's a very long level 4 prompt. So we should be able to take things down apart from that. Just for our overall power. Sort Mount Poppy Buster. So I say, I'm amazed it hasn't killed it. Nope, it did. Whoa, that was a strong attack. That was just a strong smash for 130k. The power up that you get from killing enemies around the place, eh? Curse you. Is that all you had? Nope, more coming. Look sharp, reinforcements. Can't these guys give us a moment to catch our breath? Pfft, weakling drivers. A bit harsh, Telos. It seems we arrived late. We cannot wait for the others. We must avenge our fallen comrades ourselves. Praise to Amalthus. Let us crush these heretics. These guys just don't give up, do they? They sure take out after Amalthus. More's the pity. These ones look to be considerably tougher than their compatriots. I advise caution, Telos. Duly noted. No caution will be applied. But more fighting. Oh, here is. Bedeviled Vassail. Let's take it. out the small guys this time. Come and get it. Just for taking down a few small guys, you end up with ridiculous power after all. The scythe killer there. I can only imagine what kind of power you'd have after the fact. In goes Poppy! It seems weird to think of Poppy on her. Bit late for the launch, sure, but I just want to charge up my level 4 again. 
All those criticals that are happening there. It's going quite nicely, isn't it? Hey, you can't knock me down from there. Alright, let's burst with the level 4 again. And she has heal on her attack as well, by look things. That was nearly way over half the damage. There's a fair bit of power there, but now I've been toppled. Not good. The damage increase from just killing a few enemies and adds is ridiculous. And I'm guessing these encounters are designed to show that off. Blighters just don't know when to quit, do they? I don't have any enemies, though. Tell us what. Come. I'll put you out of your misery. Maggots, this place will be your grave. Weaklings. Did you think you'd be a match for me? <laughs> well, ruthless as always, I see. Tell us, you all right? Completely. Thanks for that. That would have taken a lot longer without you, Telos. Though I do wish you'd stop showing off. Your concern is pointless. Battle is what Blades are born for. No need to waste your worries on me. Even if it sometimes seems like that's what you drivers are born for. No. Look. So what? Showing concern for our friends is useless? Is that what you're saying? Keep talking, I'll stomp you. Just like I did that last maggot. Freaky. Oh, I give up. You really are something else, Talos. Don't think I've ever seen a blade like you. At least, there is no doubting her prowess. Her assistance has proven invaluable. You're right. She's good to have around. We'll keep counting on you. All right, tell us. Huh. <laughs> I'm sure she'll warm to us eventually. Probably not. She seems like that kind of character after all. Tell us. Got a bit of a question for you. You're pretty powerful and all that, but wouldn't it be better if you work with us a bit more? I am working with you. Yeah, I suppose so. What's the issue? Look, everyone knows that one of the jobs of a blade is to protect their driver. Well, that's only part of it. You're our mate, Telos. There's more to being part of a team than just fighting. Drivers and blades can support each other in a bunch of other ways. I understand. Your concerns have been noted. However, there was no reason to alter my present behaviour. I had a feeling you'd say that. <laughs> I shall consider whether your suggestion could be implemented in the future. Cheers, Telos. 
Not much more I can ask. Tell us, your foolhardy actions before were inexcusable. Huh, it's amusing to hear that from you. I act efficiently according to the best analysis of the data. You act according to your own reckless desires. Your treatment of those people was unwarranted. We are simply incompatible, you and I. It is pointless trying to see eye to eye. Acknowledged, but our goals are aligned. Unfortunately, you have a point. If we encounter a similar situation in the future, I advise working together to resolve it. <laughs> Tell us in Cosmos. It's great to see you guys settling your differences. I do not think we are settling our differences. Agreed. Our differences are in <laughs> irreconcilable. Okay then. No sorting things out there. Even though we're working together on the same team, same blades. See? Two peas in a pod. Is that a scene that only shows up if you have Cosmos by this point? I imagine it is. A little bit of an addition, maybe. As we complete the quest, lingering resentment and now fall into a massive Igna camp. Right then, a fair bit of experience for that one. A pre on chips. Are they new? I can't remember being pre on chip before. Well, that completes her affinity chart, or at least her level 5 side My of it. Power. I might as well lend you a hand. That's a lot of stuff to kind of do in general, so I'll get working on that for the next time we come back for a, another video, including Puppy Buster, of course, Puppy which is... Gain a little bit of power there on the level 4 special, yet again. So that's quite nice. Right. So let's get off Mikhail again. What was I doing? Checking out that chip. I can't remember getting them before. Is that a completely new chip type, or just one that I did not manage to find? It has a high auto attack, a block rate, and a critical rate, of f which lowers a bit. Maybe it's a good tank one? Nah, probably not. Let's try on a tank blade, eh? Pretty on chip there. It's uh, fairly good for Droma. Very crit lowering. Nah, block lowering not so good. So, still the normal chips seem to be better. No special effects on stuff. That's not bad, but that was Telos. And you can see just without even her affinity chart being filled, how powerful she can potentially be in the future. So where does that leave us with all our DLC stuff? Well, we've defeated all the quests. There doesn't seem to be any heart-to-hearts around. Poppy Buster is smashing away around the place. And what that really leaves then is to check out Poppy Buster's level 4 special. Did Igna just run off the edge? I think that just happened. Yes. Bye, Igna. Bye, Igna. So let's go see... Puppies level 4 and finish off there, shall we? So let's charge up for that ridiculous hit. As the stench comes in, I think I'll just be able to counter with my level 4, shall we? We're literally blowing ourselves up with all that damage there. So that can be multiplied by 1000% to make ourselves even more powerful. Let's give it a run and get away. Finally managed to get that off. So that's probably Buster's level 4 as well. An interesting tank that can be spec to probably quite godhood. While also doing some crazy damage itself, even leveled up a little bit from that one fight. But now it's my job to kind of like upgrade all their stuff to their maximum affinity until the next time, the next blade that's coming. Because of course it said there were three blades on their way. So it can't be that long until the next one comes. But when that happens, we'll have every blade up to maximum affinity. And if there are any heart to hearts or anything that are hidden away outside of their charts, I'll probably try and get them to you as well. But that is Poppy Buster and Telos. Demonstrated and quests. I hope you guys enjoyed and join me for the next bit of Zelda Bay Chronicles 2 as we continue to showcase DLC, etc. until the main story DLC comes. So I'll see you in the future for more. Any questions? Put them below in the comments. I'll see you guys around. Now it's time to send them on many a Merc mission with Ursula. Eh? Hey, look! Bobby just jumped out. I'll see ya. Bye bye.